Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And just behind me, I have got my Christmas tree. And you can see I've got these Govee Christmas lights that have these nice patterns on. And these are matter compatible. And the review for these is coming up on this channel next week. Now these lights, much like Twinkly lights, have some great different patterns and effects. And you can choose all of those in the Govee app. Now, the main problem for Apple Home users, especially if you want to tie it into automation like detecting motion in a room and switching on the lights, is that you can only have them come on at a static colour. That's a limitation of Apple Home rather than a limitation of Govi. However, wouldn't it be great if there was a way to set these lights to this pattern every time they come on in Apple Home? And there is. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's going to sound a little bit technical and you are going to need a couple of Siri shortcuts just to get the information you need because we are going to use the Govi API. Now, an API is a way of getting data about something in particular, and you'll ask for a particular type of data based on something. It doesn't just give you data, but you can also send requests and ask it to do things. So in this video, we're going to find out the ID of the Christmas lights. We're then going to find out the ID of the scene that triggers this nice, pretty Christmas tree motion. And then we're going to ask the Govee API to change them to this color. And we're going to ask it to change them to this color when they get switched on. So when I walk into my room and it's dark enough and these Christmas lights come on, they're not going to come on to the static colour that Apple Home wants to set them to. They're actually going to set to this nice, pretty pattern. That sounds complicated, but I'm going to talk you through a step-by-step -step process. And I've also pre-created the three Siri shortcuts you are going to need, and I'm going to link them below so you can download those. So let's check it out and see how to do it. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to get a Govi API key. Now, to do that, we go into the Govi app and click the profile button. You can then click the cog in the top right here, and then you can click apply for an API key. And at this point, you can fill in this form, click the red terms and conditions, and that will be sent to your email. Now, your API key will come through pretty much straight away. Um, and that's all you need to do in the Govi app. So we're just going to get rid of that for now. Now, I know I said in the introduction, we're going to need three series shortcuts, but we can actually get away with two because one piece of information we need, we can get straight from the Govee app. So if we click into our device, so for me, that's my Christmas lights. You can then go to this cog in the top right. And then you want to scroll to the bottom of this page. And at the bottom of this page, you can see we've got some device information, things like firmware version. But the things we want are the MAC address and the product model. Now, I've blanked mine out, but the MAC address will be a series of numbers and letters in pairs followed by a colon. And you want to grab those and make a note of those. And then the product model is made up of five letters and digits. And you want to make a note of that as well. I recommend just popping it in a notes app so you can come back to it in a bit because we are going to need it in the next stage. So the next thing we're going to do is jump into Siri shortcuts. And this is going to be exactly the same whether you use your phone or your Mac or your iPad. But I'm just doing it on my Mac because it's a bigger screen to show you guys this. But it will all be exactly the same. Um, and what you're going to want to do is create a new shortcut, although I am going to put this shortcut as a download below. So if you want to get that shortcut and just fill in your own details from that last thing where we grabbed the device ID and the MAC address, you can do it that way as well. Um, and actually, I've pre-made this scene. So we're going to go into the editor for this Govi get scenes, which you might have downloaded. OK, so in Siri shortcuts on this search bar on the side or on your iPhone, you can search for something called get contents of URL which is this. Now I've dragged one of those in here already. Let me show you what it looks like by default though. So it just has a space here for you to put in a URL, so like a web address. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put in this URL up here. So it's openapi.api.govi.com forward slash router forward slash API forward slash v1 forward slash device forward slash scenes. Now if you're wondering how we know that, this comes from the Govi documentation. So let me just show it to you, although you won't need it if you're using my shortcuts. OK, so this is developer.govi.com and you've got something here called API reference. And this tells you kind of everything you might need to know, including how to apply for that API key that I said about earlier. Now, what we're going to look for here is the get dynamic scene. And that basically is a way of finding out all of the available scenes for our particular product. So for me, the Christmas lights. Um, and this gives you all the information you need to know and the kind of information you get back. Now, like I said, you've got my Siri shortcut. You don't need to worry about it. But the key bit here is it tells us that this is where we're meant to be going. And we start here, which is why if we go back to our shortcut, we see we've got this up here. Now, these get contents of URLs in Siri shortcuts have some different options. So we can click view more, which I have previously set this up. But I'll talk you through what we've got here. So at the top here, we've got something called a method. And I have set this to post. And we know this because of that documentation. There's some other options there. You don't really need to worry about it if you don't understand it. Just set it to post. 
Next, we've got something here we can toggle out called headers. Uh, and these are really important. Uh, and again, I've set these up with some blank details for you, uh, but you do need to fill in some details for this to work. But I will tell you what we've got. So we've got keys and values. So basically a key identifies the value. So when we send this off to this URL at the top, when we send this to Govi, Govi is expecting us to provide this information. So it's expecting a content type of application slash JSON. Um, and you don't need to worry about what JSON is. It's just the kind of stuff we're going to get back. And it's expecting your Govi API key. So you want to double click this when you first open my shortcut and paste in that API key that got emailed to you. Next below, we've got something called request body. And we've set this to be in JSON. Uh, again, don't worry what that means, but it, we do know that it needs some information back. So we've got request ID uh, and that has a type of text. And this can be whatever you like. I've just said it's UUID. In the next stage, we'll set it as one. It's up to you. And then we've got a key. Uh, and this is going to be the payload and we've set this type to be a dictionary that means it's got extra information inside it which is why we've got this little chevron so we can click this and see what else we've got and you are going to need to fill in this detail so we've got sku and we've got device now the sku is going to be the five alphanumeric value we got from the first stage from the govi app and a device is going to be that mac address so you want to make sure you fill in your api key your sku and your device and then we hit the play button. So I'm going to fill these in and come back to you in a second. So I've just filled all that information in and I've collapsed this by clicking the show less. And it's really important you keep your API key and your device information safe. So I'm not going to share that with you for obvious reasons. But what we want to do now is hit the play button at the top. Now you'll see you've got some information back. I've blanked out some information at the top for you. But what you want to do is click this I button here. And then from this, you're going to just select all of it and copy it onto your clipboard. So we can do a control A and control C. On a Mac, of course, that is command A and command C. So this is all JSON. Don't worry about what JSON is. It's just a format for data. But we're going to go to a website called JSON Formatter. And this is just jsonformatter.org. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste that information we've got on the left hand side here. OK, now I've pasted mine in here and we're going to click Format and Beautify because that's going to make it much easier for us to read. And what you've got is you've got all these kind of indented different bits of information. And as we scroll through these, these are each the names of these nice dynamic scenes you see in the Govi app. Now, I want the one for Christmas lights, so I'm going to keep scrolling down till we find that. Obviously, you will scroll down and find the one that you want. OK, so this is the one I want. It's actually called Christmas tree. Um, and what you want to note is this number here. So this ID. So again, you're going to want to copy that and paste that somewhere so you can reference that in a second. And then finally, we are going to go into the Apple Home app. Now, I will provide you a shortcut that does all of the stuff you're about to see, um, but you're going to have to recreate that yourself in the Apple Home app. And I'll tell you why in a second. OK, so I'm in the Apple Home app and I've already set up my scene, but I'll just show you what I've done. So I basically hit the plus. I've created add automation and I want to do this automation when an accessory is controlled. And I want to do this when my Christmas lights do something. And I want to do it when the Christmas lights turn on. And hit next. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this list, whether you're on your phone or whether you're on your Mac or iPad or whatever, you've got this thing that says convert to shortcut. So we're going to click that. And then we actually don't want this up here. We want a get contents of URL again. So let me jump to the one that I have previously set up. OK, so here is the one I have set up. And this is going to look very familiar to the shortcut you might have downloaded from me or the one we saw on the last screen. So once again, we're getting the contents of a URL, but this time we've got forward slash device, forward slash control. And that's because we want to control the device. Once again, the method is set to post. And once again, we've got some headers. And again, we're saying application JSON, and we put in our API key. And I can show you that because that's just the start of mine. And then down here where we've got our request body, again, that is also JSON. And request ID can be whatever you like. I'm just putting it as one. And then we've got payload. And again, this is a dictionary with three items. So I can click that. And actually, at the moment, Apple Home on a Mac crashes when you do that. So let's jump into my iPhone and do it from there. OK, so here we are again, but on the iPhone. And we're going to click those three items this time. And it doesn't crash on the iPhone. And you can see here in the pop-up window, you need to put in your SKU and your device again. So that five-digit alphanumeric code and that MAC address. Of course, I've blanked mine out again. And then we've got something else here called capability. And again, that is a dictionary. So let's click that and see what we've got. So this time we've got a type of device dot capabilities dot dynamic underscore scene. Um, this is why I recommend you download my series shortcut because you can kind of copy and paste it from there. 
We've got a second thing called instance, and that has a value of light scene. And then we've got a third key called value, and that is that five digit code from our API request in the last video. So you don't need to worry about the previous series shortcut and keeping that. You won't ever use that again unless you want to get this list of scenes again. But this is the one that's going to run all the time. So once you've added that value in there, you can hit done. You can hit done on the next screen down as well. And then you can hit next and finish up setting up your shortcut. And this is my final shortcut. Basically, whenever my living room lights switch on, it automatically switches to this nice dynamic scene all in Apple Home. So hopefully you guys have found that video helpful. If you've got any questions or you get stuck, stick them below and I'll help you out. My day job is as a web developer, so this is stuff I do all the time. And hopefully it's helped you guys out and helped you make your Christmas tree that little bit more magical with your home automations in Apple Home, rather than having to faff around in the Govi app. Like I said, the review for these lights is coming up soon, but if you want to pick them up, I will put a link below as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon.